What's up, Saiyan Army? So what you're seeing on your screen now is my push workout. We're doing 110s for four sets of 10 reps on the slight incline dumbbell bench press and just slowly working our way up. A couple grinders, but we push through and finish all sets and all reps. So let's get right into the video. So first off, if you were subscribed to me in the beginning of last year, I made a New Year's resolutions video, same one like this. If you're one of the 60,000 subscribers that I had back then, I'm gonna link the video down below. I want you to click on that link and find your comment and find out if you stuck to your goal or not. If you are brand new to this channel, I want you to pause the video and comment down below your 2017 New Year goals because one year from today, we're gonna look back on this video and see who stayed accountable to their goals. We're gonna see who ascended and who yamcha it out. We're gonna hold ourselves accountable to this video and these goals that we set or just watch to the end of the video and then comment that down below after. So anyways, let's get into my goals. For 2017, my first goal is to get rid of my anterior pelvic tilt. That is by far number one. All my other goals kind of lead up with that, but I wanna get rid of this anterior pelvic tilt. I believe it's the cause of a lot of my back pain and a lot of pressure on my bulging disc. So I wanna get rid of my anterior pelvic tilt and just stay healthy. Two, obviously not to get any Injured. Last year, I tweaked my lower back again and I got injured. So again, that ties in with my anterior pelvic tilt. Third goal, I wanna hit 120 pound dumbbells for four sets of 10 reps on the incline dumbbell bench press. So right now I'm changing the way I'm lifting. I'll talk about this more in future videos, but every lift I do, I'm doing it with more of a posterior tilt and engaging my abs to help get rid of this anterior pelvic tilt. I'm not going to make a spirit bomb goal just because I feel like right now, I feel like spirit bombs are adding to my anterior pelvic tilt because I'm staying really retracted and putting a lot of pressure in my lower back. It's really hard to do it with a posterior tilt. So I'm not going to really set a goal for that. As far as Bulgarian split squats, if I decide to keep Bulgarian split squats till the end of the year, my goal is 225 pounds for anywhere to six to eight reps for four sets. So I want to make 225 pounds on the Bulgarian split squats, my bitch. And that's the goal. That's concerned we do stick with it and we don't switch to front squats or back squats or whatever it may be. Piccolo and I did set a goal for the end of this year, the end of 2016, to hit 225, which I did for two reps. Piccolo hit it for one rep on each leg. So we hit that goal. As far as deadlifts go, I have altered my deadlifts and how I'm currently deadlifting to help fix my anterior pelvic tilt. I'm deadlifting with more of a posterior tilt engaging my hamstrings and glutes. I'll make a video explaining how I'm doing that. And this was all because of bod mechanic. Also, we do have more videos coming with bod mechanic. Great stuff, so stay tuned. Now, as far as YouTube goes, YouTube subscriber goal. This is always a scary one for me just because it's something that's more or less hard to control. All you can do is put out the best content you can and hope for the best, really. Like, there's no secret to making a viral video. There's no secret, really. All you can do is just try to make better and better videos. Try to up your quality of videos. So my goal for the end of 2017 is 350,000 subscribers. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna hit that, but I'm just gonna, like I said, put out quality content to help you guys. That's all this channel is about is helping you guys. So now let's talk about three things that I feel can help you achieve these goals. Or I'm just gonna be real with you guys, okay? So one, first question I get asked a lot is about motivation. Now everyone's always like, oh, how do I get motivated? I lost motivation. Someone actually at the at LA Fit told me that they're not motivated to hit their goals. They're not motivated by their goals. What I told him was that's not a goal. If your goal does not motivate you, if your goal doesn't like stir up a fire within you to go and hit it, then that's just like a want. That's like a far-fetched dream. Your goal should be a need. It should be something that you need to have. It needs to be a desire. If you don't desire your goals, then it's not a goal. Okay, so make sure that you want those goals. You need these goals by the end of the year, all right? Or else you're not gonna hit them. Another thing, feelings. A lot, too many people uh, operate on feelings. Too many op people operate like little girls. Like someone could step on their shoe and it would just ruin their whole flipping day. It's like, oh, so this guy stepped on my shoe, so now it ruined my day. Now I'm too mad. I can't go to the gym now because I'm so mad. So, you know, fuck my weight loss goal. I'm done. I quit. Whatever. I'll just go back to it tomorrow or next week or whatever, whenever I'm feeling better. You know, too many people operate on feelings, man. When you operate on feelings, that is not how you're going to hit your goals. You need to operate on doing what's right what you think 
I like to diet. When I get lean, you think I like to hit all my macros? You think I like to diet? You think I like to eat less food? Not at all. Do you think I like to do cardio? Not at all. But I do it anyways because I do it because it's what's right and it's gonna put me in the right direction to hit my goals. Number two, excusitis. Excusitis is so real. There's so many people that for every little thing that happens in their life, they have a, an excuse. For every time they mess up, it's some kind of excuse. They never take responsibility for their own actions. It's like, okay, I didn't hit my goals in 2016 because this, 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 and this happened. And no, you need to take responsibility for your own goals. If you didn't hit a goal, that's on you. If I didn't hit 200,000 subscribers, you know, ending 2016, that was on me. If I don't hit any of my goals this year, it's all on me, okay? No one else. You guys need to take responsibility for where you are today in life and just understand that, hey, draw the line and make it better. Change, okay? No more excuses. Yamchas make excuses. Third tip is never give up. That's the only way you lose in this game of fitness, in this game of life, is you give up. Never give up. I don't care how many times you get knocked down. As long as you pick yourself up back up, you're good. I don't care if it took you a year to lose five pounds. Progress is progress. You just keep on going, okay? This is the truth. Half of my clients throughout these, this holiday season fucked up on their macros. You know, they fucked up on their macros, fucked up on their workouts and everything. Half of my clients did really well. What did I tell my clients that messed up? It's okay, just get back on it. A client messes up one week, it's okay, just get back on it. Just, I don't care. Like, the past is the past. Learn from it, grow from it, and just move on. Just keep moving forward with your life. Keep progressing, keep ascending. Okay? It's all on you. If you're gonna make 2017 your bitch, it's on you. And if you don't, if 2017 makes, if 2017 makes you his bitch, then that's on you. At the end of the day, it's up to you. And I'm just here to help you guys along the way. So I hope you guys stick with me throughout this journey. I hope a year from now, we can come back and look, watch this video, look for your comment in the comment section and say, yo, I made 2017 my bitch. I hit my goals. I ascended. I was not a Yamcha and I killed 2017. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Much love, strength, and honor. Aloha. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!